Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on how to create a Blackboard assignment. The good thing about using this method is when you create an assignment like this, a column is automatically created in the Grade Center. To create an assessment item, you must first be in the course shell and the edit mode up in the top right hand corner must be on. First select the content area in which you'd like to post the assignment from the course menu screen on the left. In this case, I will put it in my assignments and tests area. Click the assessments button and choose assignment from the drop down menu. If the assignment should go in a specific folder, make sure you are in the current location before creating the item. Fill in the name and instructions for the assignment item. In this case, I'll call it assignment one. My instructions will be submit a literature review. You also have the option to scroll down and you can select browse my computer or browse course to attach an instructions document. So in this case I've already got my instructions made so I'll just attach them to the assignments. You also have the ability to assign course al alignments to the item. This is a very important part. You must set a value for points possible. This is the maximum number of marks that are available for this column. For example, if the assignment is out of 100 marks, you would enter 100. If there is a rubric created for the assessment portion of the assignment, one can be attached for student reference, or one can be created using the Blackboard Rubric Builder. Uh, for more information, including setup options, please see the rubric tip sheet. The next step is to select the appropriate options. Uh, in most cases, the default options are recommended. However, you may wish to tailor the settings to your specific requirements. For example, uh, make the assessment available or make the assignment available. It must be yes for students to have access to the assessment. Uh, if you'd like to post the document but limit your students from seeing it until class time, take the check mark off. You will have to go back in and turn it on when you want the students to be able to see it. Number of attempts. So you can allow students to repeat the assessment. You can set it to single, unlimited, or a specific number of attempts. You can limit the availability. So if you use date restrictions, you must check the box for display after and display until and enter an end date. Display after sets when it becomes available and display until sets when it is no longer available. If you want this to be a permanent posting, then set the date until the end of the semester. The track number of views option keeps statistics on when students access the assignments. For a due date, uh, setting a due date helps to monitor when assignments are received. If something is submitted after a due date, a flag will be set in the Grade Center. To set a due date, you must first select this option and then use the calendar and clock icons to set a date and time. You can also choose to assign the assessment to all students or to groups of students. If this is a group assignment, you will need to decide which group or group set to assign this project to. Keep in mind that if groups have not been created, they will, not, they will need to be set up first before you can proceed with this option. And please refer to the appropriate tip sheet for instructions on creating groups. The last step is to click the submit button. And now students can access the assignment from the content area in which it was posted. They have the ability to enter their completed assignment directly to the text box provided on the submission screen, or they can attach a Word or PDF document for you to grade electronically.